And moving into our forecast, of course, the fog, a big problem this morning, and it looks like we may have one more day where we do have the fog potential still pretty high before it looks like things should improve later in the week. But really all week, we at least have the potential for morning fog. We have humid, unseasonably warm weather. Again, Tuesday morning, you'll want to watch out and give yourself lots of time. Turn on the morning news and just kind of see what's happening tomorrow morning because we may have the potential again for the patchy dense fog, which is problematic because it might pop up in areas where you're not expecting it. And then it does look like we'll stay warm all the way through the weekend with our next cold front early next week. So about a week that we have to wait for another nice cold front, but it could be right around maybe even on Halloween. So might make the forecast a little dicey then. Temperatures for right now are getting into the 80s. This is helping with our fog. Uh, formation out there. It's helping to end the fog as we see good visibility in almost all spots except this one little problem area where we're still actually even at noon stuck with less than a mile visibility, but I think it should be enough to work with on roads for most spots, but just really especially if you're in that spot of Jefferson Parish into almost Orleans over to the west. Just take some extra time and be prepared for that potentially for another hour or so. We have some wind kicking up. Our fog cast for tonight and tomorrow, though, shows a similar setup. The thing, though, is that it has been in very slightly different locations over the past day or so. So not necessarily will it be exactly as thick in exactly the same spot tomorrow morning. So that's why you might want to give yourself a little extra time. This is 4 a.m. and then 7 a.m. tomorrow. You can see that visibility lowered to maybe a mile. This fog cast even showing maybe a half mile over toward the west at Hammond and Baton Rouge before things improve by about 10 a.m. or so as our temperatures take off. And also tomorrow we'll see our winds increasing during the day. That should help to move the air around and prevent the fog from staying kind of stagnant and settling in. This is part of why the smoke is contributing something we called condensation nuclei, and I talk about this a lot in my school talks. You need little particles of stuff in the air, dust and especially smoke in this case, where water droplets will condense. So you have moisture in the atmosphere. They condense onto these small areas or these small little pieces of, you know, whatever material it is, in this case, smoke, and that really helps the fog to thicken. So that's why we're seeing partially this bad setup with both a fog potential and then also it's aided by the presence of smoke, which of course looks kind of smoky anyway. So today our temperatures do get all the way into the middle 80s. We'll have sun and clouds. Here's your forecast. Pretty nice afternoon actually, just not really feeling like fall as our humidity has gone up. And then this evening we're back in the 70s. Overnight tonight, watch out for the patchy dense fog, probably late after midnight and then into the early hours on your Tuesday as our lows get into the 60s. But here's why we're thinking we may have a lower potential for fog later in the week. We have a big high. This is part of what's warming us up, keeping us on the humid side. But we'll see this low pressure come in next to us off to the west. When you have a low and a high positioned close to each other, it kind of forces the wind through the two spots. So that's why we're thinking more wind Wednesday and Thursday that should help the fog to maybe not get such a hold on the area. So fog potential could go down later this week and then this weekend we're still looking at that high pressure. High pressure as we know we had it all through the summer. It keeps us dry so we could use rain, but it doesn't look like we'll get rain a big blank spot for our forecast for rainfall the next week or so, although there should be a good bit across parts of Texas and into Oklahoma and other spots to our west. Our models are showing this is our latest update. It's been jumping around. The timing has not been great with this next front, but this is Halloween. Uh, this is October 31st. Maybe some rain, maybe the front. Now the European model has cooler air already on Halloween highs, maybe only in the 70s. So we'll see still definitely ironing out the details, but it does look like at the middle of next week we should at least be cooling down and we'll keep you updated, of course, as you probably have some Halloween plans. Our seven day forecast shows the 80s continuing and again, the fog potential will be something we're watching all week.